Today's video is going to be giving you lesson four of, of our 30 days from how to go from good to great in Madden 18, uh, 30 days to becoming a better Madden player. And the last, last three episodes, if you don't know, we've done a whole series on how to get better as a Madden player. And I'm re really, really excited to bring you today's uh, video because I think today's video is really going to help, especially with this scenario that I'm in right now. Today's video is all about how to handle pressure and how to stay calm and composed. This is a superpower for for the right player. Whoever The player that executes this well um, will have a lot of success in Madden uh, for, for years to come, really. And it's composure, it's pressure, it's what to do when you when things aren't going your way. So like right now, things are really not going my way. Like if you looked at my, if you looked at my, uh, uh, go ahead and just look at the at the numbers here. I, I'm not I'm not playing well at all, right? I'm in a playbook that I'm not used to. I I don't have a scheme. Literally, like I'm just running the first like different plays that I see. I don't really have a plan like I've never used this playbook before it's a New York Jets book and I don't think it's very good obviously but I just I don't have any I don't have a really clear plan offensively so how do you how, how, and I'm losing so the question that I want to answer is how, how do you do how do you play in those situations you know what what are some things that you do that can help you get better help you handle it better well here here's in a nutshell what I want to encourage you to do take it one play at a time Take it one plate at a time. Um, what's very difficult for most people, most people, not all people, but most people, is to truly take it one play at a time um, on offense. It's for me and everybody else and defense too. Um, this this cross applies to every area of Madden, um, but specifically on uh, when you're losing or when you're in a very high pressure situation. They they just they for whatever reason they get in their own head. And they, they really do, I'm telling you. Um, people get in their own head um, when they're in these situations. And it's never uh, it's never good for them. And it's never good for their scheme. So in, in a nutshell, what I want to encourage you to do is to take it one play at a time. The second thing that I want to talk about is how do you actually do that? Well, here's how. You have to focus and it takes practice, it takes repetitions, it takes a lot of energy, but you have to focus on what's going on right in front of you, not on what's going on behind you and not what is on going on in the future. You can't fight a battle that hasn't happened yet. Um, this is oftentimes, in my opinion, one of the biggest reasons it's, it's very difficult for me to get out of my offense. This is why I talk about simplifying your playbook right here. Because it's so stinking difficult to just pick up an offense and start running it. It just is. It's hard for me. It's hard for everybody. Um, you know, I don't know anyone that says that's easy, especially in this year's game with the way the defense plays. Um, it's just it's just difficult. So what you want to do is you want to focus on the play at hand. Here's here's in a nutshell what you want to do is you want to take a couple breaths. So one of the things that I do whenever I'm in a really clutch critical situation is I ask myself, the first question is, um, what do I need to do on this play right here uh, to move the ball forward to where I want it to go? So uh, right there, I, I knew that I needed to go down and score a touchdown. I needed to. That was the number one thing that I could do to help my chance of winning. So what I did was I, I went to a formation that I ran probably three years ago. I mean, I haven't ran that formation in a really long time, and I never really ran it fully. And I went and I just did basic routes. I did in routes, out routes, streak routes, drag routes, you know, and I made a couple really bad reads and I got lucky, to be honest with you. But every play, what, you, what I did was I calmly composure and I just sat in the pocket and I didn't panic. The first play you saw, I scrambled, got a couple yards. There was probably somebody open. And here's, here's the kicker for you guys. Most of the time, whenever you get sacked, Somebody was open. Okay, most of the time, if I had to bet, whenever you get sacked, there is somebody open down the middle of the field, typically. So because of, because I know that, um, one of the things that's hard for a lot of Madden players uh, to do is to just focus on hitting their progression points. Um, 
that's really hard because a lot of times what I what I want to do and what most people probably want to do is whenever they're taxed, whenever they're taxed like emotionally and they're they're really kind of just they're just not playing well, right? They're just in one of those games that they're not playing well. They tend to stop doing the little things well. The players that are really, really good, like the New England Patriots or, you know, the different teams like that that are really, really good, they do an expert job, expert job of doing the little things that it takes to be successful, like clicking the spy in, getting a big sack on third and fourth, you know, second and long, or, you know, running the cover four or, you know, whatever it may be, using the right player at the right time. The guys that are really, really good, despite poor raw materials, they can win games. They really can. And um, it's much like that for me uh, in this year's game. The way that the game plays, it is very, very difficult to consistently be successful um, just with the way the game plays. So for me, one of the things that I try to focus on more than anything is, again, calm, composure, and you have time. You get 15 seconds, roughly, 15 seconds every pre-play, especially on defense. There's no excuse to not be composed on defense because you get 10 to 15 seconds every every play to gather yourself, to gather yourself a little bit, um, you know, and that's that's a critical time. That is time that you can use to do the critical things that it takes to be successful, to get composed, ask yourself, what are the couple things that I need to do on this drive right here? What are the couple of steps that I need to take? Offensively, I would encourage you to ask to calm yourself down. A lot of times it's in and out, a deep breath. And I know it sounds meditative and whatever, but that's really what it takes. It really is. It's calming down so that you can focus on making the little things happen, making the little plays, the little bitty things that you didn't think were going to make a difference. Oftentimes they make a big difference. And uh, I have noticed that in my game, whenever I lose games, it's normally not because this guy's doing a phenomenal job with that linebacker. That's crazy. Great play by him. Um, but normally it's not because my offense ha- doesn't have players open. Normally it's not because my system isn't working. It's because I'm not running it right. It's because I'm not running it right. You know, if I had to point to one thing over the last years that I have learned, it's that it's normally my fault. So just assume that it's your fault um, and take responsibility and figure out, you know, okay, adapt and control, but you have to take deep breaths. You have to calm yourself down pre snap This is very difficult to do. And again, here's, here's one of the protocols that I would give you. I would just say before every play, every play you go into, you ask yourself, what do I need to do on this play to control my job, to do my job the best that I can um, so that I can, so that I can win more games. What do I need to do? Do I need to call cover four? Do I need to call cover two? I don't, I, I would also say that you, most people, they try to win the game in one play, which is impossible to do, but they're convinced they can do it. Okay. They try to win the game in one play and it's impossible to do that. You can't, you can't win the game in one play. What you, what you can do is make it much difficult, much more difficult to win the game the next play. So you have to calm yourself down. You have to stop trying to force the ball into windows that you know is not going to work. Most people, if I had to look at all the players in this year's game, most people have a really good system. Most people have a really good game plan. The problem is that they, they just, they, for whatever reason, they struggle with executing it. And I, and I would say more than any other tip that I give you, this is really important. You have to control your breathing. You have to calm yourself down. You have to literally kind of almost take yourself, give yourself a mental time out to breathe, to gather composure, to do that stuff because it's so freaking important to your success. Like literally, I don't think there's anything other that, that I, I could give you that, that I have seen make more of a difference in my game than controlling my composure and calming down and realizing that I have to take it one play at a time because that's the only thing that I can do. One play at a time, one play at a time, run the system, run the system, Make the read, make the right read every time, even if it's a flat route. Um, the best Madden players, the people that are most successful in this year's game, I was watching a different study, a couple studies they did. They found that the people that are most successful in Madden 18 throw more flat routes than any other play. 
There's a big interception. And as you can see, just one mistake is all it takes. So again, calm, composed, focused, and you gather yourself and you make a play. Okay. You have to control your breathing. You have to calm down. You have to realize one play at a time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. And if you haven't already, make sure to leave your email to get your free bunch guide. Uh, I did a whole breakdown on gun bunch. Obviously, my offense has not looked really good this, this uh, game in large part because I don't have the shotgun bunch. So uh, 